It's taken 539 days, but Eagle star Willie Rioli has finally been handed a two-year ban for tampering with drug samples and testing positive to cannabis. The club says it took far too long, now pushing for an anti-doping overhaul as Rioli prepares for an AFL comeback. It's the decision Willie Rioli and the AFL world has been waiting for. Must be a big story, this one. 539 days since being stood down, the fallen Premiership star slapped with a two-year ban. He's got a, a, a pretty stiff penalty, probably, if you look at it. In He's admitted his fault, he's, he's done all the things that he's needed to do. It just took too long. The AFL's anti-doping tribunal finding Rioli cheated on three separate occasions, detailing new revelations that the 25-year-old tampered with a drug test twice. Probably we'll need to find out why he thought he could do that, but, I mean, that's by the by, he did it. On August 20, 2019, Rioli used a urine substitution to tamper with a drug test. On September 5, he used a sports drink to again tamper with a sample. A follow-up later returning a positive result for cannabis. The AFL was informed with Rioli provisionally suspended on September 12. He'd return home to the Northern Territory, waiting more than a year to tell his side of the story at a behind-closed-doors hearing in December last year. Having already served 18 months of his suspension, he's eligible to play from August 20, just in time for the final game of the Eagles' home and away season. And I'd pick him. He's a pretty good player. Rioli, who has known about the decision for weeks, relieved the process has now ended. I realise I've done wrong things and I have learned from it. I'm sorry for letting people down. I'm looking forward to putting all this behind me and playing footy again soon. Mentally, he, he has been up and down and you could expect that. Uh, he hasn't been in a good place since it started. The road to a remarkable comeback, his next challenge, unable to return to Eagles HQ until June 20. It's just a matter of whether he can prove himself and earn his stripes. And if you earn your stripes, well, you're worthy of a game. As for the Eagles, it's a sharp learning curve with another drug-related chapter now in their record books. I think the AFL's education system is um, probably failed Willie to some extent, but so did ours. And Joshua Dore, the club, now wants changes to the anti-doping system. Michael, both West Coast and the AFL Players Association are tonight urging Sports Integrity Australia to review its process to avoid a repeat of the lengthy delays we saw in Willie Rioli's case. The 18-month deliberation has certainly been the subject of some strong scrutiny and today Trevor Nisbet again slammed the process, saying there needs to be a different investigation model for weekly sports like AFL compared to the Olympic Games model. The Players Association adding the current system puts far too much stress on players' mental health and well-being. But for now, Rioli begins a new challenge, and that is a long and arduous road to what could be a miraculous comeback. Michael? Eagles fans would love that. Josh, thank you.